This move is designed to show you how to test and validate your ultrasonic bath to HTML 105 requirements if no manufacturer's guidelines are available. As the majority of ultrasonic baths require the soil test to be carried out on a weekly basis, we would suggest that you follow this test schedule where your manufacturers do not provide any recommendations. With no manufacturer guidance on what product to use for the soil test, a good starting point is to make use of a generic soil test such as wash check. Validation testing is about repetition. No matter who is performing the test, it should be done in the same way. Make sure that all members of staff who may be required to carry out this test are aware of how to perform it. To carry out this test you will need wash check test strips, a wash check holder, an appropriate cleaning solution and your ultrasonic cleaner logbook. All these products are available from Isofarm. Before the test, the ultrasonic cleaner will need to be prepared. Add water and detergent. If the manufacturer has provided a specific detergent, then use this. If you do not know what detergent to use, a generic enzymatic solution is 3 Ezyme. A degas cycle needs to be completed. Degas removes all the gases present in the solution to create a more effective cleaning process. If your machine does not have a specific degas cycle, run the same cycle as you would use for processing instruments. There should be no instruments present during degas. Once this cycle has completed, the ultrasonic cleaner is ready to be tested. Remove a wash check strip from the pack, check that the test strip is not out of date and place it in the wash check holder. Place the holder into the centre of the ultrasonic cleaner making sure that the red stain faces upwards. Run a complete cleaning cycle, the same cycle as you would use for a batch of instruments. When the cycle is completed, remove the holder from the bath and remove the wash check strip. Rinse the strip with potable water to remove any residual chemicals. A pass result is indicated by the complete removal of the red staining. This is evidence of an effective and repeatable cleaning process. Should any red soiling remain, this may indicate ineffective cleaning and a second soil test should be performed. If the process fails a second time, the machine should be removed from the decontamination process until the reason for the fail has been identified. Test failure can occur due to several reasons. Confirm that the test strip is within the expiry date. The use of inappropriate detergent can also cause a fail result. The Isofarm range of logbooks provides you with all the record tables you need to comply. In the weekly soil test section, enter the cycle number or the time of the test and that wash check was used. Write the batch number and expiry date and whether the test was a pass or a fail. A signature of who carried out the test completes the record. You can also attach the used wash check as further evidence. If you found this movie helpful then please feel free to share it with your colleagues. If you have any questions then you can call the Isofarm Compliance Help Desk. Don't forget to visit our website for CPD and online training.